All right, guys. So today we're going to be talking about the top 10 assault rifles, the top 10 assault rifles in Save the World. This took me quite a while to uh, to make up my mind as to what I thought the top 10 uh, assault rifles actually were. There are some amazing, amazing candidates in this category, and uh, it was really tough. It was really tough to to determine, you know, what was the best, just because of how many different types of assault rifles there are, how many different specialties, and uh, you know, really trying to, you know, categorize which one is the best of the best and better than other ones was incredibly, incredibly difficult. Uh, so this is, of course, my personal opinion, um, and in my opinion, it's the best. So. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go over the top 10. All right, guys, if you love the videos that we do here, if you uh, if you love our content, please use our supporter creator code. It really, really helps to keep us able to do what we do here and keep on making content for you guys. So thank you so much. All right, let's get right into it. Top 10 assault rifles. We're going to go to, we're going to go backwards. We're going to start from number 10 and we'll go all the way to number one. The number 10 assault rifle is, in my opinion, the Duet. The Duet is a super, super fun gun. This one didn't didn't go over super, super well when I reviewed it the first time. Uh, but since using it, you know, back then, I got to say that I've developed a quite a love for this gun. And I didn't really give it the credit that it was due initially. Um, this gun really fails hard when it comes to damage per second, which is why uh, this one kind of didn't do it for me. Uh, the the on hit bullet splinter effect makes it so that you can do you know extra damage to enemies behind the target that you're shooting at. It's a pretty garbage ability to be honest. Not a huge fan, you know. Whatever. It's it's okay though. It's okay. Uh, it's not bad and it's extra damage, which is not is you know pretty cool. I mean there are much better perks, but there's also worse perks. You know I would rather have this than have affliction. Let's say that. You know affliction does way less way way less than than this does so this is you know compared to like affliction you know which would be like a grave digger or um, uh, more more accurately be like a typewriter typewriter is a weapon that has affliction but gets no actual benefit from having affliction whereas the grave digger you actually get um, you know benefit you get you know, damage to afflicted targets so uh, this one here is better it's better than like a typewriter bonus uh, so I like it in that way. Now the the perk loadout for this gun is is phenomenal. It's a it's a crit rate double crit damage gun, which is just in, you know insane, right? Totally insane. Uh, it gives the a good stat line of 38%, just a base base crit, thir uh, 320% crit damage, solid. You know double crit damage weapons are very very powerful. It's kind of the go to. Um, you had some options on this gun in terms of uh, you know the extra perks but I mean this one was kind of a no-brainer you put mag size on this one because it has such a massive mag size and this gun ends up having a 105 magazine uh, you know clip on this thing it's it's incredible and that 105 mag it lasts forever because this is a very slow firing weapon which is why it has the low DPS so it's like well why is this makes the top 10 then well, very simply, it's just because it's one of the best sustained damage guns in the game. The actual damage of the individual bullets on this gun is very, very high. It does like 13,000 damage and 19,000 on a headshot. So it, it hits really, really hard compared to a lot of the other guns. In addition, you know, it hits hard, it fires slow, and it has a big mag, meaning you're never going to have to reload this gun. Like this gun, you can fire for forever and just keep on shooting it's just it's really really it's a pretty cool weapon right this is a high damage assault rifle as i said high damage good for sustained fire as i said uh due to the slow fire rate and the large magazine capacity it's not very accurate when firing on the move but that's not too too troublesome you know this one uh you can really take your time. You can go and you can move a little bit. Uh, it'll you'll lower your accuracy, and then you just get into a stationary position and kind of hold down the line. And that's really where this gun shines: is high damage, high sustain. So you just sit there and just keep on rocking shots. At bam, 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 bam. This is one of those guns that really benefits from the Immortal Gunner build with crack shot and bullet storm. 
because when you're running with those guys, you're going to end up with a 75% bonus damage, which on a gun that already does really high damage is going to completely tear enemies up. Like, it will do a lot of damage. It will just punish, you know, the waves of enemies coming in with just a, a like a, a seemingly infinite barrage of damage. So I like it. I've, I really actually like this gun. And uh, not just because it's one of the coolest looking guns in the game. Oh, wait, it is one of the coolest looking guns in the game. That's definitely a perk. It's, you know, it's not hurting anything, you know, being that it looks so cool. Um, yeah, it's amazing. This is a absolutely fantastic gun, and I think it definitely makes the top 10. Uh, it, it's one of the most unique guns ever made. There's nothing like this in the game. There's no other gun that fires this slow with this massive of a magazine size and uh, and really focuses on just chunky, chunky damage. It's like a chug a lug. This thing's like it's like you're it's like you're cranking this. It's like gong, gong, gong. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I mean, it's just it's great. It's great. I I I, loved, I wish I had a, an obsidian version of this gun so that I could make more of it. You know. Because uh, I've got so much obsidian. Usually the guns that I lean on heavily that I use all the time are always my obsidian guns just because of my, my, uh, yeah, how much, how much material I have to make them. Uh, and I'm, I really like guns that are ammo efficient, that do high damage with low fire rate. Um, I think that's really cool. And you can, you can even sit on this one even harder by using Stars and Stripes Jonesy in your, in your, your loadout. Uh, along, you know, along with bullet storm and crack shot, to make it so that you just never reload. You never pull, take your hand off the trigger. You never reload this gun. You just fire for what seems like forever, and just, just keep on smashing. Just keep on smashing the enemy. So that one definitely takes my number nine. Number or number ten. Number nine is the Grave Digger. I love the Grave Digger. It still makes my top ten. Absolutely, this gun. Um, I, I went and did a review on this one recently, uh, an update video for, for the Halloween event. And this gun is as strong or stronger than it's ever been. Uh, I was actually shocked at how relevant this gun still is, how insane this gun is. Um, you know, in a, in a lot of ways, I actually enjoy using this one more than the Wraith, just because the accuracy feels more consistent. Um, I feel like I can... Uh, I can move around the battlefield uh, more effectively, and I like, you know, the, the fire rate feels perfect. Like, it's just, just one of those guns that just feels right. When you're using this gun, it feels so right. And the perk loadout is pretty great. Honestly, this one is a crit rate, crit damage. It's not a double crit damage gun, uh, so, you know, it could be better. It's got a damage perk on it, which, again, could be better. Right? It'd be nice if this was a double crit damage. Like if this is a Bobcat loadout, this gun would be, you know, significantly better. Right? Crit rate, double crit damage with damage to afflicted. Dang. Right? That little that little edge, man. Having 135% crit damage is a lot better than having 30 damage. But that said, it's still a fantastic weapon. Crit rate, crit damage, damage with the massive 45% damage to afflicted targets makes this one a staple just a a e a, a totally solid number nine on my list i love this gun it's fantastic um the the fire rate is medium the range is medium the you know everything about this gun is medium it's just right across the board everything feels good good impact good reload you know okay reload speed good range good mag size good fire rate good damage and good everything everything about this is good it's just a good, solid, feel-good gun. Nobody ever picked up a Grave Digger and was like, oh, this sucks. No, it's it's like, oh, wow, this feels great. There's a reason why this gun became a meme for so long. Next on my list would be the Gamatron 9000. Now, this gun is nasty, bro. This is one of those sci-fi gems that came out. Um, you got a lot of different you know, ways that you can build this. I decided to go with a passive on this one, a critical rating passive to uh to ramp uh that that ramping crit uh works really really good with the amount of mag size that this thing has uh, It's one of those guns that has a huge mag to begin with and i i decide to go all in with even more mag uh, it's just like the bigger your mag size the more incentive it is to put even more mag size on this gun so i'm a big fan man this gun does pretty darn good damage it, it's a fully auto burst weapon 
so it fires in bursts. Uh, you can hold your trigger down if you want. Uh, it has a you know a regular 38% crit chance. It's a double crit damage gun, so you get those really nice crits. The uh, the ramping critical rating on this passive is going to make it so that you get you know really you know amazing amazing crits. If you can find a situation where you are holding down the trigger for extended periods of time and just burning through an entire an entire magazine that uh, you're going to get so much value out of that crit rate you know you're going to be getting you know your double crit damage perks on this gun will be that much more powerful so this one is a 4000 range massive 79 mag really fast rate of fire 10 10 fire rate is actually really high um which makes this one a, a total winner, man. This one is just a huge winner. The only weakness that this gun has is the fact that it is an element energy weapon. You can never make this a fire nature water gun, meaning it's never going to hit the upper echelon of what other guns can do. That is the downside to all energy specific weapons is that they're usually overstated, really powerful, but they cannot compete with the best of the best of elemental specific weaponry. So that's why this one takes an easy, easy number eight on my list. Uh, number seven, I'm going to have to give this one to the Beat Blaster, man. The Beat Blaster is a phenomenal, phenomenal weapon. This is the one of the boombox guns, higher than average assault you know, this is this thing's crazy. It has a like above average impact, and it fires in two shot bursts. This makes it really, really easy to hit your shots because it's got a slow fire rate. Um, it fires in bursts, which is really good because this is a, one of those guns that can actually pierce enemies. This is the most powerful piercing assault rifle in the entire game. This thing is just crazy. Really nice thing about this one is that the B Blaster is a fully elemental weapon, meaning you can pick any element you want, making this gun even more powerful if you specialize it. Just insane. The loadout on this gun is amazing. Crit rate, double crit damage. Has the the, the biggest weakness that this gun has though is that it has a two ammo cost and a really, really low magazine size. So it has a 24 mag, meaning you're gonna use it's only actually like a 12 mag because you're using up two ammo per shot, uh, or per, uh, you know, per per bullet. It's actually using up, you know, burning at double the rate. It's, I don't know why they didn't just say, you know, one ammo cost, 12 mag, but whatever. <laughs> In any case, it doesn't matter. The, the end result is that this one has a very, very limited uh, mag. It runs out of ammo really, really fast. But it does have a really fast reload. 1.7 is super quick. You can get that reload off real fast. And this gun has one of the highest flat damage um, attacks in the entire game. This thing does 18,000 damage per shot, which is crazy. 27,000 headshot per shot, which is crazy. This gun hits so, so hard. It just absolutely shreds enemies. And if that wasn't enough, it has piercing attacks. So if you can hit more than one enemy in a row, this gun is like, you know, never mind being number seven on the list. This one will go right to the top of, of, of any chart. Like this gun is crazy town if you can pierce multiple enemies. Just absolutely insane. And if that wasn't enough hype for this gun, the passive on this gun is mind blowing. The beat, the boombox set got one of the most powerful passives ever made. And it is, it just, yeah, eliminating an enemy causes enemies to dance. This means you can be completely surrounded by enemies and be totally fine. As long as you can keep on killing enemies, you can just make everyone dance. You just <laughs> got to make sure that you kill the enemies that have been dancing because it does you can't chain dance one target so you, each each enemy that will come and try to get you you can make him dance once you got to make sure you target the guys that get close to you first and if you do that just no one's going to be able to touch you all the enemies are going to surround you and die and you're going to win you're just going to win 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 man this 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 gun is amazing the whole boom box set is amazing and uh yeah if, if you haven't tried it yet you definitely need to beat blaster for the win man all right so number six on my list is gonna have to go to the pain train 
Uh, Pain Train is a is an oldie but a goodie, man. This gun is absolutely just astoundingly powerful. Uh, this one is right up there with the top mid range ARs. It's it's it can be debated that this is the most powerful four thousand range assault rifle in the game. I think there's a good argument for that. Uh, it is it is just it's like a better grave digger. Like this thing is just crazy. It's very comparable. It has a uh, you know higher magazine. This thing's sitting on a 52 magazine size. If you buff the mag size on this gun, um, you can you can actually go two different ways. I've actually I've I've run this gun in two different ways. I run it either sometimes with damage, sometimes with mag size. The reason that I've been using mag size lately is because of the passive. Uh, each shot fired gives you 1.8 percent damage for one second, stacking up to 15 times. Meaning if you hold the trigger down on this gun. And you, if it gets stronger and stronger and stronger, meaning the longer you can hold the trigger down, the more you're going to utilize this passive, right? The normal, pa the normal amount of ammo that this gun runs with is about 30 mag. Uh, so boosting that up to 52 is a huge difference. That means on a on a 32 or on a 30 mag gun, you're going to get only half of your your shots is going to have the full the full effect, right? You're going to hit your maximum stack at 15, and then your second half of the mag is going to get your maximum bonus. Whereas with a 52 mag, now we're talking about a much, much, much bigger bonus, right? So it's it's pretty wild. It's pretty wild. It, if putting that extra mag size really utilizes that bonus damage on the passive to a much larger extent, uh, which in my opinion gets you quite a bit more damage. Um, the reload time is not terrible on this gun. It's a 2.1, but every time that you do reload, every time you stop firing, your your stacks go back down to zero, and you have to build it back up again. And it doesn't fire super fast. It's a 6.75. It's a good mid mid fire rate weapon, and uh, it it has pretty high damage, right? 9.8 is a good high damage headshot. Damage is solid. Um, so all in all, it is a it's like a it's like a good at everything, but better than the grave digger it is just it's so good it's got a you know double crit damage build and uh that just puts it on a whole different tier okay so the next weapon on the list i'm gonna have to give to the wraith now this was a tough one honestly going between the wraith and the pain train i really couldn't decide which one i actually liked better because each one has its uh has its you know ups and its downs um the wraith i gotta say is just it's such a it's such a, a power man it's such a power gun this one is one of those guns where it does everything really really well but does some things better than any other gun has ever done uh so the 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 really the thing you got to give to this gun even though it has a lower damage per second um you know on 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 the stats it the crit is where this gun shines like it really really shines um this is one of those few guns in the games that has a 48% chance to crit and a massive whopping 345 crit damage. Like this thing is a beast gun, man. Just a beast. It, it crits so often and it crits so hard that it's, yeah, it's hard to compare this to any other gun. Uh, the fire rate is very low. You know, it's a 6.43, a little bit slower than even the pain train. Uh, slower than than the grave digger, slower than the pain train. This is one of the slowest, uh, you know, mid range, high damage <laughs> weapons out there. It's a it's a crit rate, double crit damage build, so phenomenal. Uh, we went with mag size to boost it up to 52, um, and yeah, this gun is just solid. the The really big deal with this gun is that it has a 5,120 range, which is phenomenal range. It's got a good reload, 2.3, not too bad. Mag size is solid, 52. Fire rate is mid-range. Crit chance is insane. Crit damage is insane. And the damage on this gun is uh, is is solid, right? 9,100 is a solid, solid gun. The headshot on this gun is crazy. But that's that's one thing I don't love about this gun is the, it actually has really, really good headshot damage. And... The default on this gun that I got was uh, five headshots in a row, which has since changed. There are other options for for the passives now that you can actually research it in the collection book and now that the military set came out. Um, so there are lots of options for, 
for passives on this gun. But the big problem with this gun is always going to be the accuracy. Shooting on the move is a nightmare. Um, you know, shooting, holding the trigger down for extended periods of time is horrible. Uh, this gun very quickly loses its accuracy. Uh, the longer you hold the trigger down, the more of a problem this gun becomes. And uh, and that's uh, kind of a bummer. Kind of a bummer. It's uh, For me, this gun feels so strong, but also feels sometimes annoying to use. There are times when I'm just annoyed at, uh, at the bloom and the lack of consistent accuracy. You get that, you know, first shot perfection and... You know, you get this nice small reticle when you start shooting and then it just gets worse and worse and worse and worse. And for me being a, a type of player that really, really loves to run and gun and move around a lot, um, I just find that the Wraith is just doesn't quite get it done for me. It just, um, I don't know. I, I find myself leaning towards, um, you know, sustained guns and SMGs and stuff. Uh, I just find that the Wraith is, you know, for as powerful as it is, um, it just, I don't know, leaves me with a bad taste in my mouth. But it is undeniable, the sheer power of this gun. I just usually prefer to go with something that feels more consistent and more satisfying. Like some, something like a Hemlock. You know, the Hemlock SMG is, that's for my play style, is much, much better because it, it never moves, right? It's consistent. I really like consistent. I don't like RNG. I don't like random. I don't like, you know, I like a gun that does what it does all the time, right? So that's that's a play style difference. Um, next on the list would have to go to the, well, Mr. Bundle Bus. Uh, the Bundle Bus is a staple. There's a reason why I went in God rolled four of these guns, one for every single element. Uh, the Bundle Bus is the Bundle Bus. It's incredible. It's a, it's a crit rate, double crit damage gun. This thing is absolutely insane. It's got a perfect loadout. Uh, you put reload speed on it to bring that re reload time down to 1.9. Now it's got a you know pretty medium, medium size mag. 32 is not a ton, and it doesn't really need to be a ton. Um, you just walk in and you blow their face off. The, the beauty of this gun is that uh, it does a lot more damage than it seems like it should do because of the landing five hits in a row with a single target causes that small explosion which does bonus damage and let me tell you that bonus damage is no joke it's no joke man if you the difference between uh, winging a target and getting a full burst into a target is just insane if you, if you can control the kick on this gun and get a full burst directly into an enemy's face, this gun's damage is shattering. You know, there's this gun is just shattering. There, you use this on smashers, uses on any big target, any big guy that you can sink an entire volley into, and uh, and you're gonna just win, man. You're gonna win. This is one of the most powerful giant killers in the entire game. Uh, you gotta be able to hit your shots, though. You gotta be able to keep your keep on target and make sure that you get your entire volley into a single enemy to really make the most of this weapon. This weapon is all about that giant burst. It's got a huge crit chance, 43%, you know, so above average crit chance, top tier 345% critical hit damage, uh, just power, power, man. The impact is 783, which may not sound like a ton, but since you fire in giant bursty volleys, it is super easy to to cause an enemy to reel, to cause him to stumble and get, you know, to get knocked around. Very, very god tier weapon. This one is just, just amazing. Now, we're down to the top three, boys, the top three. So, number three on the list is going to the Mercury LMG. This is my baby, man. I use this gun probably more than any other gun in the entire game because it is so convenient. The Mercury LMG is the ultimate convenience gun. This thing is rocking a massive 175 magazine once augmented. It is a it has the perfect loadout, crit rate, double crit damage. Um, it is, uh, yeah, yeah, it is the only energy uh, LMG in the game to have this perfect loadout, which is why this gun is so powerful. And the, the other reason why this gun is so powerful is because it has the same 
the same ability as the bundle bus that crazy landing five hits in a row does bonus damage and, and yeah it just it's nuts man you get that splash damage explosion doing huge damage to the target you're hitting and everyone around him as long as you can keep this gun on track which is not too hard as long as you're not moving you have a pretty pretty you know controllable reticle and you can just absolutely pummel damage into the enemy. I really like this gun because this gun has terrible headshot damage, meaning it's it's encouraged. This gun is highly statted and highly, you know, encouraged towards just hitting the target. You know, aim for center mass. Make sure that your five hits land in a row, and that way you're getting those explosions, those bonus damage explosions. Um, if you happen to hit the head with a stray. You'll do extra damage, but it's not necessary. So this gun is really, really tuned and kitted for convenience, for ease of use. Like, anyone can pick this up, aim center mass, hit five in a row, get explosions, get massive, massive damage. And what's really, really wild about this gun is that of all of the LMGs, this one has the slowest, the slowest fire rate, meaning it will, you get higher damage instead of faster fire rate. So the slower the gun fires, the heavier each bullet does, meaning really, really great ammo efficiency. This gun can fire its magazine longer than any other LMG and just do crazy damage. Crazy, crazy sustain. So this gun takes forever to use up a mag, meaning you, you rarely have to reload. You just sit there and just unload and unload and unload uh, because it has the incredible passive on it. It makes up for um, a lot of, you know, a lot of, uh, well, just it, it really increases the damage. So even if you're not using an assault rifle specific character, this gun still feels really, really strong. Kind of like the bundle bus. Even when you're not using a bundle bus build, the bundle bus feels really strong. Same with this one here. Uh, it's just the ultimate convenient weapon. That's why I made it, ele I made it into obsidian so I could just make infinite of them. Uh, I have a, I have a shadow shard one as well in case I need to, but uh, you know there are better if, if you're going for element specific weapons, there are better weapons. This is an energy only weapon, so it will never be the best of the best because you can never perk it perfectly. You can never be a fire nature water, you know. So it's it's never going to hit that super super high tier damage. But it's what it's it's an energy gun. It's good against everything, all nature, like all elements. It's just your it's your go to gun for convenience, ease of use, ammo efficiency, never reloading, lots of damage, just a powerhouse. Easy number three, man. Number two goes to the Candy Corn LMG, man. The Candy Corn, this gun sh in, in many ways is the most powerful gun in the entire game. Um, it, is, it is a damage, it is a, basically a reskin of the Terminator, but with a better perk loadout look at this thing crit rate double crit damage magazine size the only problem with this gun is the physical element you cannot change this off of physical and because of that this gun will never ever ever be the best you just there's no way around it when you're fighting a nature smasher this gun does not get it done you need a fire gun or a, or a, an energy gun something more specific because physical versus elements just doesn't do it against big targets you can get away with physical against smaller targets um, but as soon as you start fighting huskies you'll start noticing problems and anything bigger than a husky is going to feel real bad this gun however does absolutely wreck blasters absolutely wrecks takers propane lobbers all of those are always physical enemies and they're always going to be polluting the battlefield. So really the only major problem that this gun has is Huskies and Smashers. Huskies and Smashers are going to be a bad day for you. But uh, yeah, outside of that, this gun is the most powerful gun in the entire game. It's the most powerful, devastating, unstoppable LMG with the perfect loadout. I mean, if, if, as if the loadout wasn't perfect enough, the passives is, is even stronger. Eliminating enemies with this weapon can spawn healing candy pickups, meaning this gun not only is the most powerful offensive weapon, but also the most powerful defensive weapon at the same time. The entire time you're murdering everybody with the craziest offense the game has ever seen, those enemies, a large number of them, are going to turn into health. 
you just eat them. You're going to run around like Majin Buu. <laughs> so yeah, crazy man. Crazy gun. Solid crit chance, solid crit damage, incredible fire rate, massive magazine size, good range. Uh, yeah, just solid across the board. The only weakness that this gun has that all LMGs have is accuracy. If you're firing on the move, you got to be really, really close or that really huge bloom is going to hurt you a lot. And... Last but not least, our number one, the king, the Terminator. As you can see, I have a nature, fire, water loadout for these guns. Uh, I don't bother with physical because that's what the candy corn is for. The candy corn is essentially the physical Terminator, but except no substitutes. When it comes to the ultimate power, the ultimate gun, the Terminator is king because the Terminator is elemental specific. Uh, it does not have as good of a loadout as the candy corn LMG, but it doesn't matter because when it comes to killing the biggest, nastiest, most hardcore killer enemies in the game, you know, you need to be able to take down those smashers. And nobody takes down a smasher harder than the Terminator. This thing is a beast weapon. Uh, slightly different loadout, as you can see. It has one crit rate, one crit damage. Instead of having a double crit damage, this one does damage to afflicted targets, which is still phenomenal. A phenomenal. It's way better than, than a damage perk. It is a... 45%, so it's not, not a 30% damage perk, it's a 45% uh, uh, damage perk, which compared to a crit damage, um, crit damage is just above 50% average damage. So the, uh, the crit damage is a little bit better. Not by a lot, but a little bit better. And of course, this one does causes affliction instead of, say, turns enemies into edible candy that heals you. So, the Terminator is the all-time king of damage. He's the greatest sustain uh, murder gun in the game. The reason why the LMGs are the top three guns in the game is because of our incredible Survivalist Jonesy build. Uh, the Survivalist Jonesy loadout is pretty much the loadout you'll use with every single one of these, these, these guns. Um, it is just absolutely unrivaled. You can run it two different ways. You can run it with uh, assault right, assault damage, and assault crit damage. Uh, both of these, you know, these are really, really good, and it makes it so you can use any any gun. But that's not why. That is not why the LMGs are the king. The reason the LMGs are the king is because of the true ultimate build, and that is right here: startup and mad tidings, crack shot, and bullet storm. He gives you 25% bonus damage. He gives you 50% bonus damage. These are ramping effects where they start at 1% and they go up for every bullet you fire. So because these LMGs have 175 mag clips, a you know 90% of your experience firing these guns, you're going to be fully ramped up and just annihilating everything. You can increase this even more by using assault ammo recovery, making it so that your assault, uh, your assault weapons get a 24 percent uh chance to refund the ammo which goes back into the gun which you can then shoot that again and have another chance to refund that ammo making your 175 magazine actually in reality be well over 200,000 or over 200 magazine it's just absolutely wild meaning you're going to be sitting on that 75 percent bonus damage for that entire time holding that trigger down just absolutely wrecking everything and that is why the LMGs are the top three. That is why they are the kings, because this build is just absolutely, completely unstoppable. In most cases, for most other guns, you'd want to switch out the uh, the ramping characters for the flat assault damage and assault crit. Uh, you can also sub out the assault ammo recovery for either of those if you want more crit. Uh, that'll give you you know the most damage per bullet. Uh, you can put assault. Uh, just assault damage if you want to get just flat damage um, any of those work of course we're gonna st we we stick with the uh, the blast in the past build with saurian hide and saurian might these are your armor this is your extra ranged weapon damage and of course survivalist jonesy is the king because he can't die he just regenerates his health forever and ever and ever making it so that your blast in the past is just unbreakable unkillable makes your saurian might do absolutely insane bonus damage and uh yeah it just wins forever this is the ultimate build for the ultimate guns the assault rifles uh <laughs> will probably forever be the best of the best just because they're fully automatic they have incredible incredible ammo pools they do incredible damage 
and they are just the most versatile, powerful weapons in the game. So that was our top 10 assault rifle uh, weapons, man. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope this uh, inspires you to collect some of these and try them out and uh, you know see for yourself just how crazy these guns are. Uh, we'll have links to all of the different reviews for these guns so you can go check out the individual reviews and see the perk loadouts and see how to use them in combat and see exactly which uh, which loadouts work really well for these weapons. And uh, yeah, rock and roll. If you like this video, guys, make sure you like and subscribe. Leave us a thumbs up. It really helps out the, the, the channel, helps us grow. Ring that little bell for notifications. And uh, yeah, comment down below. Let me know what you thought of my list. Let me know what you thought about my my top 10. Um, let me know if you had any different opinions because there were some, there were some guns on the list that uh, I kicked out like the Tiger and the Lynx uh, just because they focused too heavily on headshots and uh, I, I felt like that left them at a disadvantage uh, damage wise and consistency wise especially the Tiger being that it has such high impact it actually uh, is a detriment to itself in terms of hitting those headshots when the enemy keeps on getting knocked all over the place so I'm really curious to see what you guys thought of my top 10 and if there's any other videos that uh, you would like me to cover make sure you leave a comment down below Rock and roll, guys. Thank you so much for being a part of the Vash Core. Thank you for having my back. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for supporting Save the World, guys. I love this game so much. And thank you for being a part of my community. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, yeah! <laughs>